Ty Prophet, a senior on the Moorhead State men's basketball team, now joins us on MSUEagles.com. Uh, Moorhead State with a 68-64 victory today. A New Year's Eve matinee at Johnson Arena and Moorhead State's first OVC win of the season. And Ty, I wanted to ask you about your performance today. First and foremost, you're one of three double-figure scores today. Another nice balanced scoring effort for the Eagles. You had 10 points. Terrence Hill with 15, most of those coming early in the game, and Khalil with 11 off the bench, Khalil And Just talk about your play individually and how you felt out there today. Well, you know, Coach, coach gets us ready. Uh, you know, I think that showed on the floor tonight. We've been having, we've been having you know, a great month of practice. The guys are really competing in practice, and uh, I think you can definitely tell that on the floor. You know, obviously we're still making some mistakes, but, you know, hopefully as the year goes, goes on and Coach, you know, gets to work with us more, we'll kind of iron some of those mistakes out and just hopefully stay on a steady, you know, uphill climb and get better. You know, that's, that's, that's the whole key. You don't want to peak too soon. You just want to keep progressively just getting better throughout the year. And one thing I noticed from you down the stretch today was obviously a hotly contested game on national TV, your first conference matchup at home this year. Just talk about some of the intangible, some of the senior leadership that is expected of you. One of the things that I've always appreciated about your game, you do a lot more than just what's in the box score. Well, uh, you know, being an older guy, that's, that's to be expected. Uh, you know, coach, coach relies on me a lot, you know, from a leadership standpoint, not only, you know, verbally, verbally but also, you know, in what I do and how, you know, how, you know, hold myself, you know, how even, even off the floor, how, how you speak to people. You know, you want to be a, an ambassador of this school, an ambassador of this program, and I think we do, we do a good job of that. You know, I'm not saying that we're not going to make mistakes. Uh, you know, on and off the floor, but you know, that's part of it. Our guys want to win, our emotions are flying, you know, we'll get in scuffles on the floor, do, you know, do stuff that we'll later regret, but being a senior, you try to help, help those younger guys keep that to a minimum. Uh, you know, all these guys in that locker room are great guys. You know, they want to win, they care about the team. You know, it's not any individual. Nobody's trying to get their own, and I think that's, you know, that's obvious by, you know, the balanced scoring attack we have. Some guys take bad shots, but that's, that's part of it. Bad shots are just because we want to win, we want to score. Ty Prophet, a senior on the Moorhead State men's basketball team, joining us after today's 64 or 68-64 victory over Austin P. here at Johnson Arena. Um, you're one of five returning players to the program this year, nine newcomers, which I think is a pretty high number, some JUCO guys that have come over to Moorhead State, some true freshmen on the team. Coach Tindall's told me a couple of times that this period in the – in the schedule is usually when the team progresses a lot, really improves. You guys are done with your first semester finals. You're practicing, working out, and watching a lot of film. The NCAA rules change a little bit. Just talk about how the, the practice schedule and the film sessions have been different uh, than maybe when you guys were also focusing on your academics first semester. Well, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, the guys don't get as much recognition as what they deserve for, you know, how they, how they handle themselves in practice, you know, in the film room, in the weight room. And then right after that, you know, go for however long we do, then go right back to the dorm, have to go to study hall. It's, it's hard to do. You know, we're on the road. Guys are studying on the bus, studying when you get to the hotel, you know, trying to keep up to date with your schoolwork. And, you know, I think that's overlooked. That's, it's, it's tough. Basketball is a full-time job for us. And then on top of that, we have, we have another full-time job in school. And, you know, it's just... You, as a coach, you appreciate you know what the guys do. You know they want to win. They want to do good in school. Like I said, we try to do everything we can to give give our basketball team a good name in this community. And it's you, you can't ask you know much more of the guys. You know they give you everything they got each and every day on and off the floor. Morehead State improves a seven and eight overall, one and one in the OVC. Now we head back to the road, a three-game conference stretch. Uh, starting Thursday at Jacksonville State. Just talk about the importance of the league schedule and trying to get a couple wins in this next three-game stretch. Well, the bad, the bad part about our league is there's never an easy game. Yep. Ever, everywhere we go, we're going to play a, play a great team. You know, that's, that's evident by, you know, SIUE, you know, beating Tennessee Tech at right. home. Tennessee Tech is supposed to be one of the preseason number ones. SIUE is towards the bottom, but that just goes to show everybody in this league can play. You right. know, preseason rankings mean nothing. It's whoever comes out, you know, wants to win more, prepares, prepares better, and he's just having, you know, the better, the better night that night. Ty, thanks for joining us. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks.